All right, some of those same senators are invested in those big tech companies, but there's nothing to suggest that they'll put their own financial interests ahead of what's best for the country. Ah, oh, let's just see what's in the paper today. What? Now, when it comes to the issue of control and big tech, there are kind of two prongs. One, we want big tech to be controlled. We want to know when they're stealing our information and giving it to the government or giving it to advertisers or whatever they do, that we want controlled. But what we don't want is them controlling us, censoring our free speech, preventing us from having open communication. In the past, we've made mistakes by conflating those two ideas. Many of you pointed out around the Facebook whistleblower, remember, that the agenda of that whistleblower, a lot of you said, was in alignment with government policy, and I'm certainly sympathetic to your point of view. Here, what we're talking about, I think, is regulation of big tech, so as them lot have to rein it in a little bit with the old spy and espionage and skullduggery and stuff. But the big problem is, of course, that many of the people that will be voting on that bill make loads of bloody money from big tech doing exactly what they do. Harvesting data, selling that data. Let's see how this is going to go down. New unredacted documents. It's weird, isn't it? We live in a world where if something's unredacted, you're grateful for it. Some documents have been released. Has it all been scribbled out, all the good stuff? No, you can actually read it. Bloody hell. Like in the old days when porn used to have stars over the boobies that I didn't look at even then. New unredacted documents were released recently from a state attorney's general lawsuit claiming that Google and Facebook colluded to divvy up the digital ad market, with Google allegedly giving Facebook special advantages. Oh, bags you front seat. Oh, bags you the front seat. This is people's lives that Facebook and Google are treating like they're dividing up playing cards and bubble gums. With Google allegedly giving Facebook special advantages when using its ad platform for a secret agreement nicknamed Jedi Blue. You little nerds. Hey, why did we call it Jedi Blue? Like the blue lightsaber of Luke Skywalker. The documents also allege that Google pitched tech giants Apple, Facebook and Microsoft on joining efforts to stall proposed data privacy protection for children and teens. It's so nice to see giant corporations coming together as one to invade on the privacy of children and teens. I want to buy the world a Coke and spy on little teens. Join in everyone, hold hands. I want to steal children's data and intrude in their dreams. As the House and Senate consider sweeping new legislation aimed at reining in the power of big tech, senators may soon vote on laws that could enable the regulatory breakup of companies in which they're invested. Currently, 18 senators or their households own stock in the tech companies nicknamed Fangam. Would you like some of the Fangam? I don't think so. Have you watched it? Hardly ever. Fangam. For Facebook, Apple, Netflix, Google, parent company Alphabet, Amazon and Microsoft. Valued at a minimum of 9.9 .9 million and a maximum of 24.6 million according to a sludge review of financial disclosures. The assets are reported to the Senate Office of Public Records as being held individually by a spouse in a joint trust or for a dependent child. <laughs> I like old dependent child. Dependent child's one of my most favourite things. That wasn't my stocks and shares, that's old dependent child. Daddy, can you buy me some fan gams? Don't be disgusting. No, fan gams, that's shares in Facebook and Google. Oh, yeah, no, you can have them. Like, the word dependent child, I think of a child that actually needs constant looking after. And if that's the state that you're in, you shouldn't be dabbling in the stock market. And their values are only disclosed as broad ranges, making a more precise tally impossible. They make it impossible even to observe what's going on, probably because there's nothing to worry about. Three senators with stock holdings in big tech are members of the Judiciary Subcommittee on Privacy, Technology and the Law. Oh man. Right, come on, we've got to get a subcommittee together. Who should do it? Well, I'm very interested in privacy and the law because of all my fan gams. Well, you can come on in. And I too stand to earn a small fortune from my own fan gams. You can come in. I love fan gams, so does my dependent child. Well, all of you guys better help us regulate what these fan gams are up to. Democrat John Ossoff, he's got $5 million worth of Apple. Then there's Democrat Sheldon Whitehouse, he got a total of $5.5 million held with his spouse in the Fangam group, the dirty pair. And then there's Republican John Kennedy with up to fifteen grand, which seems like small fry, doesn't it, compared, held in Microsoft for a dependent. Don't worry, dependent child. When Bill Gates' ship finally comes in, your Fangams are going to go through the roof. Give it those, Daddy! 
Hey, you're supposed to be dependent. Oh, that did hurt my wrist a bit when I snatched that money. Eight other senators whose households own shares in big tech are members of the Committee on Commerce, Science and Transportation Subcommittee on Communications, Media and Broadband, which has jurisdiction over the internet. They're obviously only going on these committees because they've got a vested interest. Don't bother having the committee if everyone on the committee has got a vested interest. Senators appear to be most heavily invested in Apple of all the big tech companies, with 14 senators holding a combined up to $14 million worth of stock, followed by Microsoft with 12 senators owning a combined up to $4 million in their household's portfolios. Ten senators are invested in Amazon stock with a combined investment of up to $3 million, and eight are invested in Google with a combined maximum value of $2 million. Five senators own stock in Facebook worth a combined up to $845,000, and the two who own Netflix stock count a combined up to $600,000 dollars held in the video platform. Slightly over half of senators invested in big tech are Republicans at 10 members, but Democrats hold the vast majority of the dollar amount in Fangam with a minimum of $7.7 million and a maximum of $20.4 million held, about 80% of the Senate-wide minimum and maximum totals. All right, so the Democrats own more of it, but more Republicans are into it. So as usual, it's a sort of little corruption battle depending on what particular thing you're into. Over the